I just realized you guys couldn't hear the music playing because I had my What's up? desktop audio all the way down. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's get ready. <clears throat> it's poo poo pee pee time. 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 It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. 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 It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. 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 It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. 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 It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Welcome to the sub club. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's 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 poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's 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 poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. It's 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 poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee. That was terrible. Why did I do that to you guys? I'm sorry. Hi everybody. What's up? It's me, Captain Daddy Boy. Hey everybody, it's me, Captain Daddy. I'm horny. I'm horny. I'm horny. I'm bad. I'm horny. I'm real bad horny. <laughs> oh, look at me going. Look at me going. Look at what, what am I doing? What am I doing with my face? What's my face doing right now? <laughs> oh, I'm so high on marijuana. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm high on marijuana. Hi everybody. What's up? I'm high on marijuana. Look what I have. Look what I have. This is an entire brick of Legends of Golaroth. An entire brick. I also have. I also have an entire brick of Pathfinder Battles Deadly Foes. Which one shall we open first? Should we go with Deadly Foes or should we go with Legends? We'll probably only open one tonight. But we're gonna crack this sucker. Now, again, where did I even buy this at? I bought it off of Amazon. Also, cool stuff incorporated has stuff too. So here's the deal. This was $90. So I spent $90. Now, 
If you enjoy watching me open D&D minis, feel free to help me recuperate some of that. A dollar, three dollars, whatever. Feel free. It's okay. You don't have to, though. Just enjoy watching. Just enjoy watching. But if you enjoy the unboxing, let me know. Looks like everybody wants Deadly Foes. Open everything you got. Well, we'll be opening it as the weeks progress. We'll be opening it as the weeks progress. I'm going to wait till more people get in here. I want to try to fill the I want to try to fill the room before we get going. Uh, I might have to go poop or pee pee time. I just farted, but I didn't want you to hear it. Um, Desert Eagle, thanks for two months of support. Bibbly Boop, thanks for three months of support. Game Gun, welcome to the sub club. Ed Games, thanks for eight months of support. Jacob NB8, thanks for two months of support. Thank you guys for helping me keep me flush with miniatures. Help, thanks for, thank you for helping me keep flush with miniatures, yeah. I'm going to set up my camera here real quick. Oh, look at that. That's my screen shot from the other day. Poo, poo, pee, pee time. Poo, poo, pee, pee time. It's poo, poo, pee, pee time. Poo, poo, pee, pee time. Tonight's stream has been brought to you by the pee, pee, poo, poo time people. It's time for pee, pee, poo, poo time. Uh, do you ever go pee, pee? Do you ever go poo, poo? If so, go to pee, pee, poo, poo time dot web dot com dot shish, shish bot. This week's episode is brought to you by the Pee Pee Poo Poo people. That's right. All you, if you ever go pee pee or poo poo, all you got to do is go to the pee pee poo poo dot com dot web slash hitbox dot shitbox dot twitch dot tv. And there you can find out a better way to pee pee poo poo. Uh, in fact, uh, there's several different products listed on the website. My favorite is Dr. Schultz's Shit Shoots. That's right. Dr. Schultz's Shit Shoots. Your quality shit deserves a quality shoot. Are you used to, use, are you used to shitting into a shitter? That's where most people shit, but if you're the kind of person who likes to shit on the go, you could shit into a shit chute. A Dr. Schultz's shit chute. It's a large plastic chute that connects to your butthole, and then you just simply shit into the chute. Instead of shitting into a shitter, you shit into the chute. Because your quality shit deserves a quality chute. There's plenty of shit chutes on the market, but Dr. Schultz's shit chutes is the top in quality. It's available at Walmart, Walgreens, or anywhere the walls are sold. So go now, uh, go now to your local store and pick up some Dr. Schultz shit shoots today. Or alternatively, uh, go to my website, which is at www.peepeepoopoo.peepeepoopoo.peepeepoopoo.peepoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopoopo
Oh, man. Uh, Matt Newcomb. Thanks for nuking him, Matt. Welcome to the Sibity Slub. I'm your big daddy boy. Do I read many books? Not so much. My eyesight got really bad. Meth is the Arkansas State drug. How do you think I lost my teeth? Uh, where do my teeth go? <laughs> where do my teeth go? Where do my teeth go? Where my teeth go? <laughs> How did I actually lose my teeth, though? Jokes aside. Uh, yeah, Dr. Jacob gets it right. Swimming pool accident. So when I was a kid, I dove into the three foot of the swimming pool and uh, busted up my teeth pretty bad. And here's another thing I very rarely ever talk about. When my adult teeth came in, I had a cavity in my baby teeth. This tooth right here had a cavity in my baby tooth. That's how crazy it was. So when the baby tooth fell out, the adult one behind it also had a cavity. I had a cavity when my baby teeth or my adult teeth came in. So um, so I always had bad oral hygiene. My mom never made me brush my teeth. She never cared about it. She's like, oh, it's not something people must do. You're going to lose your teeth one day anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't know why she was like that. Um, she tried to fight me a little bit when I was a little kid, but for the most part, brushing my teeth is only something I did at school when they made me do it. She didn't give a shit. So, uh, I ended up diving into the swimming pool, uh, the three foot part of the swimming pool and cracking my head and pushing my body into my teeth. Well, this, the, the, they had no, no diving signs posted everywhere. Um, so they weren't responsible for my idiotic mistake. I do think I don't. I, in retrospect, I do think they gave mom some money to help with the cosmetic stuff. Either that, or mom had a little bit of money set aside. But we were broke as uh, broke as a joke, and so mom spent some money getting my front teeth fixed, the the front ones here. That's why these are still here. Obviously, they're all jaggedy and fucked up because she never took me to an orthodontist or anything like that. She did my brother, but not me. Uh, but, um. We got the front teeth fixed, but the back teeth never got fixed. A lot of them had cracks in them. Some of them were broken, and I just had cracked, broken teeth for the majority of my life. Very painful. Very painful stuff. And every once in a while, one of those cracked, broken teeth, would I would lose uh, one of them. I, they would get infected, and I would have to get it pulled, or in some cases, getting them pulled. I should make a YouTube video about this. I probably should make a YouTube video about it. Anyway... Uh, so throughout all my adult, adult life on a, a nearly yearly basis, or maybe twice a year, I will get, get a really paid, bad get laid, tooth y'all. infection. I have a really bad tooth infection on this tooth right here right now. This is broken piece of shit. This has been broken since I was a kid. This one right here. Can you see what I'm talking about? Half a tooth there. Anyway, that one's really bad infected right now. Huge asset abscess. I need to get some antibiotics for it. Anyway. Couple times a year I get a tooth abscess. Couple times a year I have to get a tooth pulled or I have to get a tooth broken out. When I was broke, I, I wasn't able to to get them pulled at all. I would break them myself. I would use like an ink pen or hell, this metal straw. I was thinking about it this the other day. That would be perfect for breaking this tooth if I have to. If I have to get rid of this tooth, though, I'm going to a dentist. I can afford it now. My blood pressure is fine. But yeah, I, and I to be honest with you, I've never done good enough of a job of taking care of what was left. I always had this fatalistic, well, I, I imagine they were sore as hell for a while, though they're always sore. My teeth have always been a source of pain. I'm, cr- I'm cringing so hard, yeah. Got to go to the dentist, yeah, I need to go sometime next week. Can we talk about politics, religion? Yes, politics is dumb. Religion, ex- also dumb. There, we're done. Hopefully your overall teeth, health improves and teeth included. Well, I want to get dentures. I want to get dentures. My upper teeth are pretty okay. I, I, I don't mind the way those look. My lower teeth, I really hate them. They're real fucked up. I'd like to get uh, partial dentures for the top and, f- and full dentures for the bottom. So at some point when I lose a little more weight, that's something I plan to do. I hope to do that sometime this year. But yeah, I have a giant fucking pus valve right here. I wish I could show it to you. Oh, it hurts so bad. I can push down on it, and I don't know where that pus goes. But the problem is, this pus valve, this is my brain. My brain is right in here, and this is right inside my head. And so it's real close to my brain. So I hope it doesn't end up hurting me or something. I really need to take care of it. So 
How many people we got in chat right now? Do I like playing fighting games? Meh. What's my favorite? Injustice 2. Um, we got a thousand people in here. We're going to start cracking cards in a minute. Is that why the Francis voice changed? It's one of the reasons, yes. The way I did a, uh, the way I did the lisp used to be a more frontal lisp. Hey guys, what's up? It's way harder to do now. Go to the dentist? Yeah, I hope to soon. Open Bob's? No. But we are going to open Pokemon cards! Woo! These are Pokemon Welcome to the cards now. Hey, the Hunter Wild thinks, man, do you have a lot of poop in your tooth because you eat too much ass? Yes, Dash 2 Justice, that is true. Uh, Jet Black Heart Man, thanks for seven months of support. We appreciate you, man. You're looking awesome, dude. He says, I just got into d and I'm super pumped to see you open minis. Awesome. So what these are, these are Pathfinder minis available for play into the Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinders games. I really like collecting minis. Uh, uh, this is the Deadly Foes set. The set's been out of print, I think, about a year. Pretty hard to find these minis. But I found some at a very reasonable price. I think I paid $90 for the box. These normally retail for $15 each. So that'd be $30, $60, $90, $120. $120. But I got it for $90, so I got like two boxes for free. Plus, you know, no tax when I got them off Amazon. So that's kind of nice. Again, if you like these unboxes, any hero clicks, I never got into hero clicks. Uh, again, if you like these unboxings, whenever you see me spend money like this, feel free to help me recuperate it three bucks at a time with the donations and stuff like that or a subscription. But if you don't want to, that's okay too. Teeth are so damn expensive. I've got three thousand dollars and two crowns. Yeah, no doubt, Bullstorm. That's why I just want to get dentures. But why Pathfinders? It's like second edition D and D, two D and D editions behind, because the miniatures don't have stats with them, so it doesn't matter. You can use these in Dungeons and Dragons just as well as you can in any other set. I'm playing D and D fifth edition, but I'm using the Pathfinder Mendes just because they're pretty cool. But you don't get any statistics or anything like that with the cards, so it doesn't matter what edition it's for. Sometimes uh, in Pathfinder, though, you will find monsters that don't exist inside the um, uh, D&D universe. But that's cool for a creative DM because a creative DM has an opportunity to use a, a miniature like that, create new statistics, come up with something entirely new. What does Boogie think of the Pathfinder as a rule set? When Pathfinder first came out, I really liked it. Uh, Boogie, why dentures and not plugs? Because I think I've done too much damage to the jawbone to be able to get the plugs. Also, the plugs are like $5,000 per tooth. So I'm not going to spend $5,000 per tooth if I can spend $500 and get dentures. I'm not going to spend $5,000 per tooth. Holy shit. Hey, that's 50 bucks in bits, man. Botacerto, thanks for the 5,000 5, bits. Holy shit, man. That's, isn't that $50 in bits? Holy shit. Thank you, my friend. All right, we're going to open. Tonight, I think we're going to open. Do we only want to do four or do we want to do eight? Do we want to do four or do we want to do eight of these? Do we want to open a whole brick or want to open half tonight? I think we might want to open the whole brick. Welcome to the sub club. So, eight, 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 eight. I'm seeing eights across the board. We'll do eight then. Thank you guys for your love and interest. Uh, Matt Zger, welcome to the sub club. Glad to have you. Taya Jundi, thank you for the thousand bits. That's ten dollars a bits. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate it. You guys uh, allow me to spend quite the budget on collectibles, so thank you for allowing me to do that. This is Pathfinder Battles Deadly Foes pre-planted plastic miniatures. Now, again, if you collect miniatures, these the Pathfinder line is really cool and in a lot of ways is superior to the Dungeons & Dragons line that exists today. Uh, number one, this doesn't have the invisible pieces in there, and I think the invisible pieces are a ripoff. I hate the invisible pieces. Secondly, they also offer stuff like dungeon furniture. See that Book of the Damned? I'd really like to open that. I'd really like to get that Pit Devil. Hobgoblin character, he's pretty cool. Look at these figures. And the paint job is pretty good. Pathfinder does a great job. I forget who makes these for them. Who makes these for them? Is this Paizo? Yeah, it's Paizo that makes these. Uh, there's also uh, Wiz Kids, which does the Dungeons and Dragons lines. They're pretty damn good, too. I just generally like the, the paint jobs out of these a little bit better. Um, the reason they're so expensive, you only get four miniatures for 15 bucks. The reason they're so expensive is because they're generally very good 
Um, oh, Martin does stuff. That's cool. I'll look into that. That's a good idea. Maybe I will look into that. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, they're, they're generally good sculpts, but, uh, they, they tend to be very expensive because they are pre-painted. And sometimes the paint job is very, very good, and sometimes the paint job is very, very bad and needs a repaint. Um, but getting pre-painted miniatures is very expensive, but I can't paint. I don't have the talent. So... Hey, Distorted Net says, Pathfinder, I know a person is currently locked up. Him and Aselli play Pathfinder all the time, all they, they have to engineer the dice. Yep, I've heard that about gel. I've known a few f friends in gel. So again, I'm buying these collectibles, miniatures, in part to collect, because I really like collecting them, but I am running a D&D campaign right now, and I'm really enjoying collecting them. But uh, normally you get four, four miniatures for $15, and that's about $4 a miniature, right? Is that four, eight, twelve, sixteen? Um, if you buy them in bulk like I did, they get considerably cheaper, though. Um, also, sometimes if you want to buy the commons for singles, they can be very, very much uh, less expensive. Welcome to the sub club. Uh, especially the commons can be a dollar or two. But the problem is the rares can be 22 30 bucks. The furniture often goes for quite a bit. So in these figures, you generally get a medium or large figure and then several small figures as well. Um, wow, looks like, okay, well... All right, here's one piece that fell out of his... This is the first piece. It fell out of his bubble wrap. Where is the zoom at? Oh, I need to zoom in a little more. I need to zoom in a little more. Sorry. I want you guys to be able to see the figure very clearly. So let me zoom in a little more, please. Change the focus. Should be able to see it pretty clearly now. All right, here he is. There we go. Okay, this is a Dwarf Slayer. Paint job on his face is okay. The shield is pretty cool. Look at that pentagram on the shield. That's kind of cool. Mace in his hands. So this could, this could serve as any good dwarf, honestly. This could easily be a cleric, easily be a paladin. Pretty nice dwarf figure. I like that guy. Our large figure already fell out. Here is our large figure or medium figure. Oh, wow, it's a Hellcat. 28 of 46. I don't know where the cutoff is for rares here. Hellcat, so it's undead, clearly. Skulls, skeletal. Skeletal cat with fire bursting out of it. Yep, that's a pretty fucking, that is sexy as shit. That is a nice figure. Wow, okay, I like that piece a lot. All hand-painted. I don't know how they paint them. But since they are pre-painted, they cost quite a bit. Um, but they're very useful. Here is... Here is what looks like a drow of some sort. Uh, I guess they don't have drows. Oh, a hobgoblin alchemist. But if you wanted him to be a drow, he could be as well. I normally think of hobgoblins as being red. Um, but I guess they're black in Pathfinder. Or, you know, gray. He's an alchemist, so he's holding two... Uh, Two flaming grenades, some sort of wizard uh, oils or something like that. Wow, that's a nice sculpt. Look at the detail on his top. See, this is why I prefer the Paizo miniatures. Because look at all the crazy detail on this guy. He's really well sculpted. That is incredible. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. If you're gonna spend four bucks, you, you are should the get most your money beautiful human being in the world. Aw, Dawson Wizard. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Um... I give credit to the people who paint each of these figures. Must be very patient. Yeah, and I presume they're over in China. Um, and uh, working for next to nothing. So God bless them. Thanks for doing it. Here is... Oh, I know what this is. I I'm going to show it to you and see if you guys can guess in chat what it is. See if you can guess what this is in chat. Anybody who knows Dungeons & Dragons may figure it out pretty quick. Does anybody know what this is? Does anybody know what this is? Because I bet you can figure it out pretty quick if you know Dungeons & Dragons. It's called Rope Trick. It's a rope trick spell. Yep. Uh, I, Lim Murbo, I think, was the first one to get it. But yeah, it's uh, a rope going up into a portal. This is a spell known as Rope Trick. That's cool. I don't know how useful that is. 
I don't know when I'll ever represent that on the board, but kind of cool regardless. Kind of cool regardless. How much was that box? It uh, I paid about ten dollars for it. It's normally fifteen bucks, but I paid about ten bucks for it since I bought eight of them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got it too. Hey, that's cool, Gizmo. Is it an escape row from Pokemon? Probably. I want to play D&D &D so bad, but it's hard to commit with kids and crazy schedules. I hear you, Clyde Frog. That's why I waited until my wife was out of town to schedule a game. And now that she she's out of town, I was like, that's a perfect time. That's a perfect fucking time. Is Boogie opening all this for his birthday? Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. It is my friend Flint's birthday. Flint, I don't know if you're watching tonight. But if you are, happy birthday, my friend. Guys, can I get some happy birthdays to my friend Flint in chat? If he's, if, I don't know if he's around, but if he is, can you say happy birthday, Flint? It's poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Where's my phone? Where's my fucking phone? Poo poo pee pee time. Poo poo pee pee time. Give me a second, guys. From Welcome to the Sub Club. That's my wife, by the way. Speaking of the devil, tell her to text her after stream. Zen Force 2K, welcome to the Sub Club. Glad to have you. All right, we're four figures in. We're one box down out of eight. What have you missed? You missed a Hellcat. A couple of uh, player characters and a rope trick. Whoa! Whoa, what did that... Whoa. Is this broken? Oh, man, it's broken! Oh, man, I'm gonna need to glue it. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, that's my first broken one. At least it uh, was broken live on stream, so maybe I can get Paizo to replace it. Well, this is a... Uh, I, it'll probably glue on there, no problem, though. The Ankrov drone. Guy looks like this. You see where it broke? Do you guys see where the stick broke? Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. Nice figure, though, all told, if it Welcome was to the still sub glued to the base. God, I don't know what that is. What I don't know what an Ankrov is. It's like a fucking giant lobster. Holy shit. At least I didn't break it. At least I didn't break it. At least it came broken. At least it's not my fault. Poo poo pee pee time. Grizzy Cream. Welcome to the Sub Club. Squid Grass. Thanks for three months of support. We appreciate you. Do you think we'll play D&D &D or any tabletop through VR one day? Maybe. Maybe. Here is, that looks like another Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin Archer. God, that's a good sculpt. Look at that sculpt, man. The detail on these Pathfinders ones are amazing. That's incredible. Look at the paint job. He's very, very well done. Nice face. Nice straight boat. Man, that's worth, I don't think it's worth $4, but... Pretty cool. Here is, looks like a dog person. It is a celestial sentinel. That'd be pretty cool in some sort of like mummy campaign or like some sort of the Egyptian style kind of thing going on. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He could also serve as a cobalt if you needed him to, I think, but pretty cool figure. Uh oh. This one looks damaged, too. Let's see. How many inches have I lost, Boogie? Uh, 7.5 inches around my waist. Oh, Welcome never mind. It is not damaged. Wow, this is a cool figure. Wow, holy shit. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Holy moly. Look at that. That is a... Ernerius Devil. Ernerius Devil? 
Wow. That's an incredible sculpt. I'd love to play. I'd love to fight that thing. That's incredible. I can't wait to throw that at my players. I don't know. Again, we're playing in a Ravenloft campaign. So anything with like undead or angelic themes is going to be really interesting religious themes. So I'm really looking at that. Empire SW, welcome to the sub club. Tayar, thanks for the uh, $10 worth of bits, man. I really appreciate you supporting me and Twitch. That's awesome of you. Are cobalt the dogs or lizards? Depends. Depends, really. D-Man, welcome to the sub club. Really depends on who's running the system. Okay. Whoa. All right, check out this figure. Again, this one's not on its base. Wow, the detail on this one is amazing. Like a giant hawk of some sort. Here's its base. And I guess its base has a stick in it. I really suck at getting these sticks on. So I might break this one too. But it is a giant eagle. 32 of 46. I think that means it's a rare. There's only one way it'll go in. Okay, that way. And then... Normally, my wife would be around to help with this, but she's out of town, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there or not. I sure did. There he is, Flying Giant Eagle. Look at that. Look at that, towering over this guy. Look at that. Wow, that is awesome, man. Gorgeous. All right. Well, that figure you haven't seen yet. This is... I don't know what he's supposed to be. That's kind of cool. Pathfinder Society Leader. Kind of like a druid, but he's wearing a lot of metal armor, so I don't know what you would make him. The spear is a little bent there, but nothing hot water won't fix. No face. Doesn't have any eyes. He doesn't have any eyes, guys. Why Gotta do they not give him laid, eyes? y'all. Are his do you eyes ever have deja vu? I do, Tiny Tim, every time you make that donation. Is he supposed to have eyes? I don't know. That's fucking weird. That's Shredder. He does look like Shredder. Yeah. Does he have a right arm? Yeah. You don't see his right arm? It's inside. It looks like it's inside the cloak. Same as the left arm. Looks like it's inside the cloak of some sort. Weird. Don't think I like that sculpt. His hat is just suit so low, yeah. Pathfinder Society. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Thank you, Tiny So Tim. happy to hear about your successful surgery. Thank you, In I the am four so years safe. I've been watching you, I've lost 100 pounds myself. Good job, my friend. And also fell in love. Yay! I'm glad both our stories had happy endings. Me too, my friend. Congratulations, man. Our stories aren't over yet, but I think they're gonna end pretty damn nicely. Uh... I'm enjoying the next chapter of my life with the weight loss and everything. Hope you're enjoying yours as well. time. Again, I see people asking how much these run. Normally, a pack is fifteen bucks, so you pay four fifteen ninety nine. So you pay four dollars per booster, roughly, or four dollars per figure, which is too expensive. But if you buy them in bulk, they get cheaper. Here's our next figure. Looks like to be some sort of air elemental. Invisible Guardian, 4 of 46. Well, he could easily be an air elemental of some sort. Or an ice elemental. Look at that plastic. Do you see that plastic stuck right there? I'm going to break it. <laughs> a little thread of plastic there. That's kind of cool. Yep, that, that's a cool figure. That is a cool figure. I Mustang, thanks again for the three bucks, man. And good job on the, uh, the weight loss. Four bucks a figure isn't terrible compared to Amiibo. Yeah, but these are way smaller than Amiibos. <laughs> these are a fraction the size of an Amiibo. Welcome to the sub club. Can we get some links? These are really cheap. You can just Google them. I don't really have an Amazon account or anything like that. I did think these off Amazon. Occasionally, you will get a tiny, tiny figure like this. This is an imp, 14 to 46. I could definitely use some imps for, uh, for Ravenloft, though. Imps are probably going to be a thing. So that's pretty cool. Nice little imp. Cute imp. He's tiny, though. He's so tiny. Great wingspan on him, though, for that, for as small as he is. So now we're two boosters in? That's three boosters in. Three boosters in. Uh, Laxlier, welcome to the sub club. Tyar Jundi, thanks again for the $10 of the boots. 
Boogie, how do you think it'll be looking back seven years from now? I don't know what my life's going to be like in seven years from now. Will I still be married to my wife? Will I be married to my second wife? Will I still be doing YouTube? Will I still be doing Twitch? Will I be dead in the grave? Will, uh, will our country be at war? I don't know, man. I don't know. But I do think I'm going to be a lot skinnier. That's one thing I can count on. And uh, I think I'm going to be happy. I think I'm going to be damn happy. And I think we all are going to be pretty damn happy. You'll be married to me. Hey, maybe Deja Vu Show. Give me a call. Give me a call. You never know, man. You never know. Oh, I wanted this figure. I really wanted this one. This is why I bought Deadly Heroes. This is Advanced Hellhound. It's to go along with my Hellcat. This is why I bought the set. I was hoping to get um, the Hellcat and the Hellhound. And I got one of each. So I could throw both of these at our players now. Wow, that's so nice. That's a really nice figure. I really like that figure a lot. It figures I'd get one of those. Dizzy Zizzy, thanks for the bids. D-Man, thanks for the bids. Appreciate you. Send me some love from Michigan. Thank you, Dizzy. Here we go. There is what looks like another Hobgoblin because of the skin color. Yep, Hobgoblin Cleric. So Hobgoblins are pretty common in this set. Are Hobgoblins playable in Pathfinder? Is that why there's so many of them? Otherwise, I mean, it would be a great campaign opportunity. You get plenty of Hobgoblin figures, you'd be able to throw them at your pl players, but... Are, they, are Hobgoblins playable in Pathfinder? Does anybody know in chat? I'd like to know. It's a good figure. Is Boogie the DM? Yes, I don't like playing. I only like the DM. But I love the DM. Love to DM. Boogie always mentioning not being married. Why? Well, like I said a few nights in a row, and I'll keep saying it whenever I talk about that, I don't know, I don't know if my mar marriage is perfect or not. Uh, and, you know, my wife's out of town right now, so I'm worried about losing her. I don't think I'm going to lose her, but it's possible. You know, it is possible. Holy shit, it's me naked. It's me as a kid. This is a Lemur devil. This is a Lemur devil. Look at this weird fat fucking thing. Holy shit. That's exactly what I look like as a 10-year-old. Wow. I'm going to sue them for copyright. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's a nut sack with legs, somebody says. Yeah, it's, it's meat wad. It's like, bro, I'll tell you what, Master Shake. If you, don't, if you don't help me get from um, Frylock Superior, I'm going to tell him that you poo poo pee peed on his pee pee. Okay. That's, he looks like meat wad. Gizmo, hope it was good with the appointment. I hope so too, Gizmo. I don't know what appointment he's talking about, but I hope things are well. Oh, this guy's gonna be pretty cool. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Hey, hey Boogie. Boogie, I'm a friend and moderator of your buddy Pons. Oh, I love Matt We Bob. are making him a video of friends wishing him a Merry Christmas slash good luck on his surgery. It would be awesome to include you in the video. If you would like to say anything, I can clip it in less than three. Yep, let's do it right now. You guys ready? Here we go. Hey, man, Pons, I know we talk, and I know you know how I feel about you. I love you, brother. That said, good luck with everything. I am rooting for you. I'm only a phone call away whenever you want to talk. I love you, man. Take care. Something like that? Is that good? Hey, man, Pons, I'll tell you something, man. If you want to pee-pee where I poo-poo from, I'll give you a quarter. Okay. <laughs> this is... What the fuck is this giant monster? Holy shit. Cave catcher. I never heard of a cave catcher before. It's a fucking lobstrosity from It's a fucking lobstrosity from uh the Dark Tower series. Wow. That's a cool figure. All right, we're four boxes down. We're halfway through. Does that look like $40 for the stuff? Cuz guess what? It ain't. It is, but it ain't. I don't feel like I got $40 worth here. Oh, my angel won't stand up. My angel won't stand up. Son of a bitch. Look at this. The angel won't stand up. Oh, there she goes. Okay, never mind. My angel stands... Oh, never, never she goes. My angel has trouble standing up. I might have to put her in hot water. Why doesn't she stand up? Son of a bitch. Come on, angel. All right, there she's standing up now. Our big figure so far, one was broken. And we have the Hellcat and the, the Hell Dog, which are two I wanted. Don't get me wrong, but... 
Am I thinking about playing the WoW train again? Again, vanilla World of Warcraft is not a hobby. It's a career. And so do I plan to relive the glory days of playing World of Warcraft for 800 hours a day? No. If you want to, that's fine. But I like leaving the house occasionally. All right, here's our large mini, and it's a, dr a set dressing. And it looks like a cage, human-sized cage. Doesn't say what it is on the bottom, made in China. But yeah, it's basically a human-sized cage. I don't know if the bottom pops off or the top. And I'm afraid to find... Oh, it does. Okay. 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 It does pop right off. So you can easily put a figure in a cage. I already have a square cage, so this round one is very welcome. That's very cool. Nice cage, man. This is why I like the, the, the Paizo series over the WizKids series. Because they have these set dressings, and buying furniture for miniatures, especially size for Dungeons & Dragons, is very expensive. And they're almost always unpainted. But these are painted, and I really, really like that. Alright, here's our, uh, some sort of paladin, probably? A Thrun Enforcer. Oh, I love her hairstyle. She's got like this 1930s look, or something. I like her shield, I like her mace. Yeah, man, that is nice. I really like her hair and face and makeup style. That's really cool. It kind of has like this 1930s feel to it. Probably a cleric or paladin, yeah. Got to enforce them thrones, yep. Oh, look at this. Holy shit, another angel. Wow, she's... Oh, I thought she was naked. She's not naked, though, is she? That's clothing, or is that nude? Oh, it's pretty, pretty close to naked. I don't know what that weapon is. Oh, it's a horn. This is a celestial trumpeter. Look at that booty. See, this is a game company that ain't afraid to put a booty on her monsters. This is a game company that don't mean don't have no problem making a half naked girl on their characters. I guess it's the next target for the progressives to get mad about. I guess. Porzio, thanks for eighteen months of support. King of Pizza, thanks for two months of support. I appreciate you. Hey, Boogie, uh, thank you again, uh, Adorachi, for taking care of Pawns. We love him, man. It's a Japanese company. Is it a Japanese company? Uh, maybe. Holy shit! Holy shit! Wow! Wow! This is Perry? I guess she's probably named from one of the Pathfinder adventures. Wow! Holy shit! That's fucking incredible! That is fucking incredible! Alright, well I got my $4 worth there. Wow! Holy shit, that's a nice figure. Wow! I bet she's rare. What number is she? I bet she's rare as shit. 6 of 46. Is that common or rare? I don't know. If that makes her near the common spectrum or the rare spectrum. Wow, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this with you guys. Thank you. For those of you who have made donations and stuff, thank you for helping me recoup the, the money. You know, I think we've almost made enough tonight to where I don't mind ordering more in the future to open for you guys. So thank you for doing that. That's how it used to be when we started doing Pokemon unboxings. You guys were donating enough every time I opened Pokemon to pay for more. Then eventually it slowed down, so I really didn't feel like I should be spending two or three hundred dollars per stream. Um, but you guys definitely brought out the donation sign. I think we're up to like 50, 60 bucks, man. Thank you so much. Or like maybe more than that, but this is a sewer beast. Uh, I don't know what you'd call him in, in Dungeons and Dragons. Is it Oniog or something like that? But, I don't know, he could be, I mean, you could, he, he represent a lot of good monsters, honestly. Good figure. Look at his butthole. Look at his butthole. Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Looks like he's pooping Brother that Pete, leg. What do we have to do to get a Francis Battlefront review? Donation train? Throw out a number. Want me uh, to skin a cat? I'll skin a cat for Francis. I got a cat right here and a real sharp blade. Well, see you later. Here, kitty, Bob, kitty. Bob, that's crazy. You're a crazy person. Um, almost a displacer beast. I have a good displacer beast already, so I'm glad he's pretty different. Um, I, the only reason I haven't made a Francis video about it is because my dog hates the Francis voice, and I don't want to put him through that with his mom not around. 
Otherwise, I would have made a Francis video already. Bearded Devil. That's also a name of a lizard. Oh, it is very literally a bearded devil. It's a devil with a beard. Look at him. It is literally a devil with a beard. <laughs> nice tail on him. Weird. All right, I think there's a sturge in here, so I'm going to have to be very careful opening it. I have to be very careful opening this one. Yep, it's a sprite of some sort. Wow, look at his little tongue sticking out. A cursed devil. But again, this could be some sort of sprite creature. If you needed it to, it could, it could be a sturge. I don't really like that figure very much. Again, a lot of devils Welcome in the, the set, sub but that's one of the reasons I bought it. Grizz Guy won. Welcome to the sub club. We appreciate you. Tayar Jundi, still enjoying some X1X? Yes. Any gripes? No gripes at all. No gripes at all. Runs just as well as my other Xbox, only faster and better. Here's some... I bet this guy's a named guy because of the sword. Technic League Captain. Well, I would probably... If I were rolling as a DM, I would probably give this guy a poisonous sword or a magic sword of some sort. Um, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Technic League Captain. I don't know what the Technic League is. But he'd be great in a gladiatorial arena. He'd also be a good NPC. Or a good PC character. Nice piece, man. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. All right, we only got two boxes left. Oh. Chris Guy, welcome to the sub club. Hey, by the way, this is a good... Where's a good place to find these online? I got these at Amazon.com. Uh, cool Stuff Incorporated also has them. Troll and Toad also has them. Uh, but Amazon.com does have them. And I got my brick for like $89. So it was a really good price. I hate to steer you there because I was going to buy more. <laughs> I was going to I was gonna buy more from there. So you guys will probably buy them out. But I, I get most of my stuff from Amazon. Um, but Cool Stuff Incorporated is also a pretty good place for these miniatures. Miniature Market is another good place for these. You can also buy singles at Cool Stuff and singles at uh, Miniature Market. Did I see the Demi Gorgon figure that came in a Loot Crate DX a couple of months back? Uh, yes, I have it right there behind me, actually. It's on my shelf right there behind me. All right, starting with... This looks like a merfolk to me. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Oh, a Torrent Hell Knight. Yeah, I don't really get Hell Knight from this guy. I get merfolk. Because of his helmet. It's like a fish head helmet. But, again, he'd also make a good animated suit of armor. He'd also make a good bad NPC in a campaign. I don't really get Torrent Hell Knight from him, though. But, yeah. For just wrong paint colors. I like the figure, but I don't really get Hell Knight. How is it called on Amazon, guys? It, these are Pathfinder. Here's what the box looks like. This set is Pathfinder Battles Deadly Foes. And there's a bunch of different sets. Um, and the retail price on this is $15.99. So if you're paying more than $15 a box, you're paying too much. Um, and if you buy a booster brick, uh, box case like I did, a, what they call a brick, you should pay about $90 for a brick. There's also the Dungeons & Dragons versions. I haven't ordered any Dungeons & Dragons versions yet, but I will. Uh, they're called Icons of the Realms, and I'll probably get some of those next. Here is another guy, the Priest of Asmodeus. Again, he's got that pentagram on his chest. Cool pentagram. Dual-wielding maces. So again, this guy could be a ranger if you needed him to, a paladin. But he is uh, clearly a priest as well. So, huh. Nice figure again. Zeroin. 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 Thanks for nine months of the support. Appreciate you. Hold on, I'm going to fart again. Or am I? Okay, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Celestial Lantern. It's a Celestial Lantern. When am I ever going to use this? When am I ever going to use a Celestial Lantern? One of 46. When am I ever going to use that? So we got three pieces of furniture, one of which is a Celestial Lantern. When am I ever going to use that? Hey, Mikey OC, thanks for the bits, my friend. Oh, and then our large figure, or our medium-sized figure. It is 
Whoa. What the fuck is this thing? Wow, it's like a Chinese-style dragon. Kekatar Proteon. It's, the, it's from Kekistan, guys. It's from Kekistan, guys. It's the Kekian Prote... Ke, Kekatar Proteon. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Okay. Well, I don't think we've gotten any of the really valuable figures yet. So hopefully in this last one, we'll get one of the really valuable figures. And then we'll take a look at... Oh, shit. Then we'll take a look at the figures we opened and see if they were worth anything. I can't believe I'm going to have to glue one of these figures, man. Mikey OC, thanks again for the bits. All right, our next figure is not that big either. I was hoping for, like, the giant devil or something like that, but unfortunately, no. All right, here is some sort of troll, I think. Yeah, cave giant. Again, he would also make a pretty good troll, but cave giant troll, something like that, that's, that's not a bad figure. It's our last big figure, though. That's a shame. I do like him, though. It's not green. He's kind of green. Looks green to me. Um... Here is, no repeats. Oh, no, there's our first repeat. Hobgoblin Alchemist. That's our first duplicate. I, I do like having duplicates, though. I use duplicates um, to represent a bunch of a type of monster. Whoa, look at this one. This is a nice little get. This looks like a, some sort of familiar, uh, or maybe it's a cockatrice. Yep, it's a cockatrice. That shit will turn you to stone pretty quick. ACDC fan, thanks for the bits, my friend. Hey, big my dude. Hope you're having a good night. Sadly, I'm going to bed. Have a good night, ACDC. Nice cockatrice. You guys want to see my cockatrice? Do you guys like my big cockatrice? I don't want to get cocky Tracy on you, but... And then our final figure. Oh, is this a repeat? No. This one looks unpainted. What the fuck is this thing? It's got a little paint. Salamander, 3 of 46. Ugh. And it, look how bent that spear is, man. Again, hot water will fix that, but... Huh. My trash can fell over. Hang on a second. Oh, no, there's trash all over the room. All right, so let's look up our figures and see what we got that was worth money. Let's move our big figures over here first. And look, oh, God, my bird. My bird fell off. Hey, Tyre Junday, on a scale of 1 to 10, how pissed are you about Star Wars Battlefront 2? I'm not pissed. I don't know why people are pissed. It's just a video game. I'm just going to not play the video game. You know, it's not that big a deal. It's just a shitty video game. Uh, it sucks that they're trying to be so exploitive, and I hate that. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to get tore up about it because it's just a fucking video game. You know what I'm saying? So, meh, whatever. It's sad, but it is how it is, you know? All right, so I'm going to bring these up on cool stuff and see how much what is worth. How do we fix figurines with hot water? I have some more Dark Soul figures. I don't know if it works for Dark Souls figures, but a lot of Pathfinder and D&D plastic minis you can dip them in uh, very hot water and they'll go back to their original shape. You can mount, you can bend them back into their original shape. Okay, so did we get any of the expensive figures? Uh, no. Let's see. Most expensive figure is the Clockwork Dragon, the Spawn of Cthulhu, then the Pit Devil, then the Hellgate, Book of the Damned, the Cage. This is worth $12.99. So that's not too bad. Arcane Pillar, Shadow Giant, Candelabra, Angelkin Paladin, Fire Diabloist, Jillia, Banalis. Um, let's see, hold on. I could upload a video here real quick. Give me one sec, guys. I got to get a video to the guy I did a podcast with today so he can edit it up. So hopefully this won't screw screw over the frames. Or am I dropping frames? doesn't say I'm dropping any frames on my end. So let's see.
One second. Oh, God damn it. Let's see. Did I even get this down to a size that'll work for him? Son of a bitch. Give me a sec, guys. Oh. Oh. How small is this now? Six gig. Son of a bitch. It's now six gig. I don't know. Where can I put a file that's six gigs? Where can I put a file that's six gigs? Son of a bitch. One second. Okay, hold on. I can delete some stuff here. One second. Why is all this stuff on my drive? How weird. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. One second, guys. Sorry for being so not entertaining right now. Okay, now I should be able to do it. This may slow down the stream, so almost done. Not enough space. How is there not enough space? How is there not enough space? There's nothing on here now. Ah! Ah! Ah, let's try this account. I don't even know what my password is. I don't even know what my password is for that account. Ah, ah, why is this not working? <laughs> I'm just deleting everything. I deleted everything. Not enough storage. How is there not enough storage? How is there not enough storage? Oh, because of Gmail. It's also on my Gmail. Okay, alright. I'm going to fucking... I'm so sorry, guys. I have to get him this file. I have to get him this file so the video can appear on my channel in the morning. So give me one more second. I'm so sorry. Here, I'll sing you a song while I do this. Take me home, country road, to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, come take me home. Sweet country road, karma, 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 chameleon. You come and go, you come and go. Loving would be easy if you come alive, my dream. Red, gold, and green, red, gold, and green. If today was like tomorrow, tomorrow. And every day was like your mama's butthole. Then you know I like your butthole. Yeah. Your butthole. 
Karma, 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 million. You come and go. You come and go. I just upgraded the storage. How's there not enough storage? I have to, I have a hundred gig. I just paid for a hundred gig. Google, I just paid for a hundred gig. Can I sing Chop Suey? I don't know that song very well. Subreddit you hate the most? I don't know. Uh, Coontown, probably. Or Picks of Dead Kids, or one of those fucking things. I don't really hate anything, but those people probably need to be hated. Why is it not working? I just upgraded. I just upgraded my drive storage. Yay, it's working now. Okay. Two hours to upload. God damn it. Where were we? Okay, we were looking up the price of our minis. Okay. Shinsen, Technic League Captain. We pulled him. He is $7.99. Bearded Devil is $6.99. Giant Eagle is $5.99. Kekatar Proteon is $5.99. Pathfinder Society Leader is $5.99. Rope Trick is $4.99. The Torrent Hell Knight is $4.99. Uh, this Angel Devil, that Black Angel Devil chick, she's $3.99. And then most of these were worth $3. Or, yeah, $3 or less. So I don't know if we got our $80 worth here. We didn't get anything super expensive. So, I don't know how we did. I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Not great, but okay. Also, we have the broken piece, which sucks. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about it. I know the minis are going to get put to good use. Um, but other than that, I don't know how I feel about it. How, what do you guys think? Worth it or not? It looks like if I had bought these as singles, I would have probably spent at least four three dollars on average and in one in a few cases more than six dollars on the singles um so i don't know if i made any money or not i don't know if i made any money or not i'll tell you what is depressing when all of the figures you purchased in eight boxes can fit into one that's kind of depressing so the question is should i save the other ones for tomorrow or should i open more so if I, if I save if I save them to tomorrow, uh, there will be way more donations tomorrow. <laughs> but maybe I should open the other box tonight. I got two more cases coming on Monday. So. Uh, did I buy the minis to use them or... or... Gotta get paid to get laid, y'all. Hey, Adam says, hey, Boogie. Hey, Boogie. My depression was around today, but your streams always cheer me up. Can Glad you say you something help. happy and motivating, please? It would mean the world to me. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Happy and motivating. Here's the, here, this is not really happy, but it's motivating. Um, here's the thing about life, okay? Uh, life Gotta is a paid, shitty, laid, y'all. shitty game. I want some Mountain Dew stew. Me too. Hell yeah, Paul Wall. Here's the thing. Uh, life is a shitty, shitty game. If this was a game, it would be developed by EA. You have to spend all your time grinding for currency. You, you don't even get enough currency to buy anything really great. And, you know, even when you get to do anything great, it's not even that fun. It sucks, man. You know, life life is a shitty game, you know. But here's the thing. It's the only game there is to play. This is the only game in the entire world we get to play. You understand? This is the only thing we get to do is this. So play it well. Master this shitty game. Defeat the final boss. Kick life's ass. It's the only game you get to play. So kick its ass, okay? Be the top player. Go for the high score. Doesn't matter how sad you are or how depressed you are, how angry you are or how hurt you are. You just kick life's ass. Where's the cheat codes? Be born Paris Hilton. Uh, the cheat codes are be born, born pretty. Be born uh, probably white. I guess that's one of them. 
Uh, be born male, that helps, you know. But you got to put in the codes before you, you got to put in the, the cheat codes before you're born. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Ethan Brown, welcome to the sub club. Appreciate you. Being born in America, that's a good one, but it's getting worse all the time. They nerfed the shit out of that one. You can buy the DLC alternate uh, ending through a church collection plate. It only costs 10%. Hell yeah. Be Born Rich, that's a good one. Yeah, the cheat codes are all in the DNA. Ethan Brown, by the way, welcome to the sub club. Appreciate you, man. You forgot wealthy, yep. Maybe this isn't the only game. Well, there's no proof otherwise. So, white male is on the downturn. Yeah, that one's getting nerfed pretty hard too. I still think I still think that, I, I think for white male though they'll probably just bring it down welcome and level to to everything else. I don't think it'll ever be much worse. <laughs> Laser light, welcome to the sub club. I appreciate you. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? I mean, I did just get these off of Amazon. If I don't open them quickly, in case I need to return them, I won't be able to return them. So maybe I should buy them, huh? Maybe I should go ahead and buy, open them then, huh? All right. Hey, by the way, uh, so real quick, this weekend, this Thursday, I will not be streaming. Very important you guys realize that. This Thursday, I will not be streaming. I will uh, be seeing a movie with my best friend and roommate. We're going to go see the Justice League. That means I will post a review of the Justice League for you guys. So that'll be fun to do. Hope you guys will enjoy that. This set is Pathfinder Legends of Golaron. And for those asking, yes, I'm expecting Justice League to be a complete fucking shit show. Ever gonna open more Magic products? I got some right there behind me, but I'll definitely be open Iconic Masters when it comes out. I only open Magic products when the new set comes out. You could always stream the making of the review, I wish. And so we're not dropping frames or anything, even though I'm uploading in the background. All right, here we go. This is, let's show you. Pathfinder Battles, Legends of Golaron. to get laid, y'all. Pre-painted plastic figures. Please open more. There's also check out my SoundCloud. Shrew is the name. Tooth Gang Knifer. I love you. Think of me when you poo-poo and pee-pee. I will. There's a cute little goblin in there, Goblin Pyro. A Hell Knight. A Queen Elosa. Sajian Iconic Monk. So, four figures here per pack. Again, I got this uh, I got this for $96, so pretty cool. Dr. Shrew, I will check you. DJ Shrew, I'll check out your SoundCloud. I won't do it on stream right now, but I'm definitely opening more. So, here we go. So, did Boogie did Boogie do Oxalon? Uh, Oxalon? Yeah, I did it on the night it came out. That's how I do it. I always do it when the set comes out. I did four boxes of Ixalan. I'm leaving two boxes of Ixalan sealed back here because it's not a very good set to open. Uh, it's almost impossible to get your money back from Ixalan, so I instead I will get a draft. So this is such an older set. This is how they did it. Um, they actually had the three pieces on their own little plastic deal. So we'll show you how that works in a second. Here is our large figure. Some sort of croco monster. It's apparently a hodag. Like my father, he was a hodag. They used to secure these a lot more. One cast $96. No, a brick of eight cost $96. It does come out to be like $4 per booster. Am I going to do unstable? Yes. I'll probably draft that quite a bit. Don't know if I'll open it, but I'll probably draft it. There he is. There's a hodag. Hey, I'm a hodag. Touch my pussy. Okay, well, touch his pussy, I guess. Um... Wow, okay, normally they'd all three be resting in here, but one of them was taped to it, I guess because it has wings. I know they're pretty careful with the ones with wings. I just don't understand how you get your money back on these. You can't. You don't get your money back. You keep these and have them forever. There's no way to make your money back. This looks like a Cobalt Warrior. That's a fucking Cobalt in Pathfinder? That is not a fucking Cobalt. That is not what a Cobalt looks like. Are you shitting me? That's not a fucking kobold. I mean, I guess it's good enough. I'll let him be a kobold, but... Fucking kobold? Are you serious? 
All right, here's a guy who'd make a great PC character. Kind of like a captain of some sort, though. Eagle Knight Officer. Yeah, he'd make a pretty good player uh, NPC, I think. Interesting. That looks nothing like a cola. Yeah, not, that's what I think, man. Budget Zora. Yeah. Here you go. What the fuck is this thing? Well, look at the back of it. That's pretty cool. It's a Mothman. Hey, everybody, it's me, Mothman. Hey, everybody, I identify as a moth and I'm a man. Hey, everybody, y'all got any lights I can fly towards? I'm Mothman. Y'all got any lights I can fly towards? I'm Mothman. Y'all got any pants I could eat? You mind if I get up in your closet and eat your clothes? I'm Mothman. Okay. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's me, Mothman. I'm from West Virginia. That's a weird fucking figure for sure. Okay. Um, those wings look like beef jerky. Yeah, I'm going to be jerking off to them earlier, later. All right, next pack. Whoa. All right, our big figure this time has got some real weight to him. Holy shit, look at this fucker. Wow, he's heavy as fuck. Oh, he's tied in there. He's tied in there. Let me untie him. He is heavy as shit. Fuck me. I just pulled him through. I don't want to risk or run the risk of breaking him with his wire, though. Wow. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck is this thing? Holy shit. Look at that seam on his arm, though. That arm seam sucks, but... Toad Demon. I'm a toe demon. I'm going to eat your babies. That's a fucking cool figure. I don't know what the fuck a toe demon is, but he's got a nice booty. Look up in there. You can get up in that thing. That's what my legs look like. I got lymphedema. That's what my legs look like. Okay. That's a cool figure, though. Here's this fucking... What the fuck is this blue dog? This is Otka? Oh, look at the paint on the bottom. Octa? I don't know. Is that a named character? Hi, I'm a blue lionfish. Okay. I don't know what the fuck you are, but Akata? Is it Akata? Hakuna Akata. Such a lovely phrase. Akuna Hakata. Ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's my problem free philosophy. All right, there's the goblin I wanted. There's the goblin pyro. Um, they also put these little goblins in a uh, a thing called Battle Builders. We be goblins, and I really wanted to buy a box of that. They're about they come out to about two dollars a figure if you buy the display. Twenty four figures, sixty bucks. So like two dollars and fifty cents a figure, something like that. Um, and he is common in there, so you can get three of them per box. If I ever find that, I will buy it. I don't want to pay too much more than $60 for it, though, and it's out of print. But this, that's a good way to get a lot of goblins, and that is a very good goblin. That's what goblins look like. That is a good fucking goblin. So. You know take candle. You take candle. Yeah. I played Weeby Goblins so fun, yeah. This is our fourth figure. Wow. Snow Leopard. Yep, I always need more animals. It seems like they run into a lot of animals. So, Snow Leopard is pretty nice. Not a great sculpt. His face is kind of derpy. You know, but whatever. Paint job is not great. His spots are not great, but I'll take it. That's fine. It looks fine enough from a distance. All right, next. You know take candle. It's my problem free. Philosophy, Hakuna Matata. It ain't no. Pa okay, this next big figure is pretty fucking cool. Holy shit! Look at this. What the hell is this? This is a serpent demon. Whoa! Holy fuck! Wow! Man, that is cool as shit. Look at that. That is fucking great. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that figure is fucking fantastic, man. Nice. Look at her face, too. She's freaking the fuck out. I don't know what the stats on her are, but I can't... I'd love... I wish... I wish they did stats cards still. Which set is this? This is Legends of Golarion. This is the Legends of Golarion set. Very cool set. With six dildo swords. Yeah, I think it's only four dildos. I think she only has the four dildos. Okay, here's another fairly beefy piece. Does anybody want to guess what this creature is? Because I don't know. I would have guessed orc, but he's really beefy for an orc. Oh, it's a bugbear. Again, the problem with this guy, it's a good bugbear. That seems like a bugbear. He does not look like my other bugbear. This does not look like my other bugbear. So he would have to be the bugbear captain or something. He's really going to stand out on the board. He's a great fucking figure. He is fantastic. But, again, he just doesn't really look like the other D&D minis I have. Here is... This is another kobold. Is, wait, sh yeah, it's the same kobold. It's the same kobold. We got the same shitty kobold twice. And look, that really shows you the variations of their paint jobs, too. Look at that. That really shows you the variations of their paint jobs. Doesn't it? That's the problem when you're buying pre-painted miniatures. You can never guarantee. But those will look okay in the board together. And then our final figure of that box. Oh, my God! Oh, my... What is wrong with your face, dude? Oh, my God. What? Is that... What? I was about to say, is that a sideburn? Ugh, what the fuck is that? Oh, his whole face. This is a terrible, terrible miniature. It's the Eagle Knight. Oh, my face! I'm burned bad! I'm an eagle! Oh. <laughs> is that, I, yeah, I think they messed up his hair paint or something. Wow! Paizo, send me free product. That is terrible. That is terrible. Oh, maybe they're, maybe back when they were making this set, because this set's pretty old and out of print. Maybe when they were making this set, they they were not very good at painting back then. <laughs> he is bad. Even from like all the way over here, he is bad. It's hard to not, it's hard to unsee that. Ugh. Hope if we get a second one of him, we'll be able to see. We'll be able to see if if that if that's what he's supposed to look like. But I doubt it. Okay, we got another broken figure. We got another broken figure, Paizo. Son of a bitch, Paizo. I've never gotten two broken figures in a day. This is the only broken figures I've ever gotten have been tonight. That's crazy. I've never Gotta seen get paid a to get laid, y'all. I am off to bed. Good night. And please remember oh, it is the stick friend? that makes the corn dog. No, Without it's not, the stick, it is just a limp weenie. No, and nobody likes a limp weenie. I have a limp weenie. All right, we got him again. We got him again. Again, he's pretty big. He's about the size of an amiibo. Got to get guy. paid to get laid, y'all. Then we got this fucking Your content thing. has inspired me to be a better Gorgon. You're looking better, man. Hey, Henry VIII, you be the best Gorgon you can. You keep being a good Gorgon. That's a slurk. Hey, everybody, what's up? I'm a slurk. Get up my gooey mouth, everybody. I got a big gooey mouth. Get up in here. I'm going to eat you. I got buck teeth. Come on in here. I'm a slurk. Is that his mouth? Is that his arms? Are those his front legs? I don't know what the fuck is going on with this thing. From here, he looks fine. But from all the way up, up close, he's fucking shitty. We got another goblin from the Weeby Goblin set, I think. This is... I do like these goblins, man. Goblin Pyro 2. He is missing his arm. He is missing his arm. Are you fucking joking? Are you fucking joking? 
He's missing his fucking arm. The arm isn't even in the box anywhere. There it is. There's his arm. There's his arm. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously? Seriously, look at that. This goblin's had an accident. There, he put it on his feet. Oh, my arm fell off. Ow! Ow, everybody. My arm done fell off. I'm a goblin pyro and I lost my arm. <laughs> and then finally, this, which is also broken off of its base. I don't know if I can glue this one back or not. I don't know. But it is a degenerate serpent fault. Yeah, pretty fucking degenerate if it's broken. Again, not a bad figure if it was on its fucking base. That'd be a good lizard falk or serpent falk. I, I guess he's... But again, he's not... Paizo, you motherfuckers. I wonder if I should return that to fucking Amazon, man. Ugh. That's annoying. Two broken figures in the same box. That's super annoying. Glue it onto its base. Yeah, I might. What do you do with broken figures? I mean, I might be able to get send it back to Amazon. I might be able to get my money back. Or I might be able to fix them. You know? Maybe Amazon will send me a free uh, booster. Maybe I'll get lucky there or something. I don't know. But Welcome to the sub club. I get a broken hair clicks too. Yeah, it happens, I guess. All right, this figure is fucking incredible, though. Oh, my God. Wait till you see this fucking thing. Holy shit. Look at this. Hey, press X to Jason. Welcome to the sub club. Mute Francis. Thanks for 16 months of support. Look at that. Holy shit, this is an Afrit. Wow. Wow, look at that. Okay, now I'm happy again. Now I'm real happy again. That is incredible. That is straight up fucking incredible. Yep, raid boss, no shit. All right, we got three green guys in this box. There is another Serpent Folk. Serpent Folk Mystic to go with our broken Serpent Folk. Here's the Serpent Folk that we got that's broken, only not broken. Degenerate Serpent... F Degenerate Serpent Folk! <laughs> yeah, quality assurance back then was not as good as it is now. Quality assurance back then is not as good as it is now. And then this is a, that's got to be a, a orc, right? Yeah, orc archer. Again, the orcs in Pathfinder are green. They are not green. They are black in, 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 in Dungeons & Dragons. So that's kind of annoying, but that'll also be okay. Welcome to the sub club. Trevelation, welcome to the sub club. Welcome, we're glad to have you, my friend. That orc archer is nice, yeah. Again, he could be a perfect example of a um, of a general orc. You know, he's green. He's the other kind of orcs. So, could be a forest orc. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the fuck is this thing? What? I've never seen this fucking thing in my life. What the fuck is this thing supposed to be? All right. Okay. So. It has wings and a giant scabbard and a sword, but it's a monkey. It is dairy. It is a flying gorilla with a giant... What the fuck is this shit? Dairy. It's a flying, flying gorilla. Holy shit. Harambe is now an angel. Pull your dicks out, kids, for Harambe. Hooray. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? 
that's a cool figure, but I don't know. What, I mean, what am I ever going to do with that figure? I, they're not going to fight that. They're clearly not ever going to fight that. Welcome to the sub club. Whoa, look at this figure. What the fuck are these? Monkey swarm. It's a swarm of fucking monkeys. It's a swarm of monkeys. That's right, kids. Swarm of monkeys. That is a fucking miniature. Swarm monkey swarm. <laughs> what? More monkeys, please. Now I did. I wanted zero monkeys when I started. Now I want all the monkeys. Hey, Dick Punch Man, welcome to the sub club. We appreciate you. I started wanting zero. I, I originally wanted zero monkeys. Now I want every monkey that they make. Big T Padalino, welcome to the sub club. We're glad to have you. That looks like a kobold. Kobold King. Oh, it's the king. Oh, make way for the king. I'm the Kobold King. I've got the whole hit dice instead of half a hit dice. Look at me. I'm the Kobold King. Everyone Welcome get out of my sub way. Club. I have almost three hit points. Oh, I'm the Kobold King. Suck my dick. <laughs> Fun with treason. Welcome to the sub club. We're glad to have you. And then finally, there is... What the fuck are you? Kobold Chieftain. And this cobalt isn't red. This cobalt's black. What the fuck is going on with the cobalts? You got a cobalt king. He's red. You got a cobalt chieftain. He's black. Uh, cobalts in, in, in Dungeons and Dragons miniatures are orange. What the fuck is going on? Also, did you notice this set has no furniture? You notice this set has no furniture? Isn't that weird? Every color of cobalts ever. All cobalts matter, yes. Black cobalts matter too. <laughs> That's very important. Is this a new series mini? No, it's a really old one. It's a really, really old one. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. New chick. Whoa, she's large to be to be her sculpt here. So she's gotta be some sort of demon or something, I guess. Check her out. My hair! I looked at like the black girl from the Ghostbusters movie. Shaitan. This is Shaitan, everybody. I don't know what her hair is like. What? what who, I don't know what she's supposed to be. I'll have to look her up in Python. Her. I don't know what she's supposed to be. Shaitan. You don't have to put your red light on. Shaitan. Shaitan. This is the blue guy again. Akata. Akata Matuda. There ain't no passing for. Whoa. Alright, that's some sort of rogue, obviously. Tooth Gang Knifer. Hey, everybody, it's me. I'm the Tooth Gang Knifer. <laughs> hey, don't forget to brush your teeth, kids, or else I'll knife you. I'm part of the Tooth Gang. Yay! I'm part of the Tooth Gang, everybody! <laughs> Brush your teeth, or I'll stab you! Okay. <laughs> and then finally... Aw, oh, that's the kind of PC character I expect. Once again, another Thrun character. He's a Thrun agent. With the Thrun symbol on him. thrun Matata... Ain't no passive Again, I could repurpose these Thrun characters um, all as a, some sort of religious cult in uh, um, inside uh, uh, Barovia there, inside of uh, Ravenloft. So I really like all these Thrun characters. I hope I get a couple more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Holy shit. Final box. Final box, and we start off with this picture of me naked. This is my before picture right here. Hakuna Matata, ain't no person breeze. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata, 
Here he is. <laughs> hey, you guys. Baby Roof. Baby Roof. This is a marsh giant. Baby Roof. Baby Roof. Baby Roof. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well that's a great figure oh man the figures out of this set are a lot better i think than the last set the large figures we got out of here are very very cool uh, three more figures here last three starting off with this guy he'd make a good drow monk i don't know what he is but he looks like a drow monk a hell knight signifier and i guess hell knights in here are blue in paizo uh in pathfinder but that does not look like a hell knight to me i don't know what the fuck they think hell knights are here is another really good orc orc soldier that's a great orc really like him and then finally last piece is hey guys i'm part of the tooth gang Hoo-hoo! Hey! Is, uh, this is my toothbrush! You want me to show you how I use it? I use it in my butthole! <laughs> I brush my, my butt teeth! I'm part of the tooth gang! He's, <laughs> he's part of the tooth gang. You can't argue with the tooth gang, guys. You can't argue with the tooth gang. So out of 16 boxes... Out of 16 boxes, we got three broken miniatures. That's so fucked up, man. Uh, you know, and again, these boxes are all very old. These are all older sets, you know. And the I will tell you, the older Pathfinder sets had a lot of fragility issues. I should be a lot more careful with them than I'm currently being. That said, it is really disappointing, especially with this Goblet Pyromancer. Because he didn't lose his sword. And again, I could use him like that, but he's no longer a pyromancer. He's just a goblin. You know, and I don't know if I can glue that on or not. I really don't think I can. I don't really have model glue or anything like that. Maybe my friend Rob has the eyesight to do it. I don't. I really don't. And then, same here with this piece. Same here with this piece. I don't think I've got what it takes to glue him into place. You know? Yeah, I really don't have what it takes to glue him in the place. I don't think so. That's two figures. I, I'm down. And then the other, the big piece here that was broken. Again, this one, I might be able to get back together because it's just a stick that's broke. So, Welcome to the sub club. Honestly, he stands fine by himself. So even if I couldn't get him back on his base, he'd still be fine. He does look better with his base. You know, but... It doesn't really look like a mini without his base. So, three broken figures. That kind of sucks. I don't know how I feel about these older sets. I don't know if I can recommend them or not. So, I don't know if I do recommend. That sucks. Hey, uh, Paizo, feel free to send me some free... Hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hi everybody, it's me, Captain Big Boy. Well, my file's almost done uploading. Can you guys hear me now? Okay. So let's see. That was Legends of Gol Orion. And that is Pat uh at Cool Stuff. Incorporated. So let's see here. Did we get any of the valuable pieces? Prices high to low. So the best piece out of it's the Green Dragon, the case incentive, forty-four dollars. The Afrit we got, the Afrit we got out of that case, thirty-two dollars all by himself. The 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 Afrit we got is the chase figure next to the dragon, and uh, we got it for. That's worth $32. Nice. 
Then, uh, let's see. Fire Demon, we did not get. Jenny, Jenny, we did not get. Queen Eliosa, we did not get. The Gorilla Queen King, we did not get. Marid, we did not get. Sandpoint Devil, we did not get. Uh, Lenny, Gnome Druid, we did not Gotta get. Gotta get paid to get Dragon. laid, y'all. I am a black person. Hey, Sparkle Dump, how are you doing? Glad to know you're still black. The Mothman is worth five ninety nine. dollars Shaitan is five ninety nine. dollars Cobalt King is four ninety nine. dollars Serpent Demon is four ninety nine. dollars Snow Leopard is four ninety nine. The Thrown Agent we got is four ninety nine. dollars Toad Demon is four ninety nine. dollars Welcome to the Sub Club. Uh, we didn't get a Batific one. That's, that's weird. Goblin Pyro is three ninety nine. dollars Uh... Orc Archer and Orc Soldier are three ninety nine. Scourge Hell Knight, we did not get. Degenerate Serpent Folk, we did get three forty nine. Goblin Pyro one, we got it was three forty nine. Orc Mystic, we got is three forty nine. Serpent Mist, Serpent Folk Mystic, we did not get. I don't think. Bugbear Warrior, we got is two ninety nine. Uh, Cobalt Chieftain, Cobalt Warrior, those are only two ninety nine. Marsh Giant is only two ninety nine. Tooth Gang Knifer is two ninety nine. Uh, uh, Hell Knight Signifier is only a buck ninety nine. He's a shitty figure. Eagle Knight is a buck ninety nine. I wonder if that Eagle Knight is really as bad. Oh, they posed him on the website. They posed him from the other side. <laughs> they posed him on the website. They didn't show his face. <laughs> Oh, Akata, the 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 little blue guy. He's he's a buck forty nine as well. So yeah, here's the thing. Even if you wanted to buy singles of this stuff, though, most of it's out of stock. So it's almost impossible to pick up. How much was Dildo Snake? Four ninety nine. So no Star Wars tonight? Probably not. I'm over that game already. I'm I'm pretty much over that game. I feel like we've got a pretty good pretty good feeling. It's a bad game at this point. Got a pretty good feeling it's a bad game at this point. Medium Black Dragon's in stock for $8.99. I might, I might buy by that. Again, I would rather open the boosters, though, you know. Not only, like, let's imagine if I wanted every figure that was here, and some of them obviously, some of them obviously you can't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want. But um, I like getting, I really like the aspect of opening it up w with you guys and and sharing that with you. Okay, my file is finally ready for Pat, so... Uh, let's see. Share. Um, get shareable link. Boom. Okay. Let me give this to Matt, Pat right away. Or not Matt, Pat, but Pat. Boom. There we go. Got that too, Pat. Your slurk has broken teeth, does he? Does he? Yes, it does. God damn it. You're right. My slurk had broken teeth. Are you fucking joking? You're right. The slurk is supposed to have fangs. The slurk is supposed to have fangs. He's right. Son of a bitch. Well, what happened to the fangs? We're in the, in the bottom of that box. The booth, the tooth gang took my slurk's fangs. <laughs> the son of a bitch. Well, I don't recommend these older sets, man. For sure. If they broke in the box, you know they're going to break. If they broke in the fucking storage box... You know they're going to break... The, where are the teeth, man? I figured they would come pouring out of one of these. Nope. Not unless it's in the last, this last one. Nope. God damn it. Even my slurk had broken teeth. Son of a bitch. So that's four broken figures. That's four broken figures. Oh, fuck me. Look, he's supposed to have fangs. But he has broken teeth instead. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the tooth... 
Yeah, maybe maybe these are not worth it, man. That's pretty disappointing. Maybe D and D minis are better. So who knows? You and your wife argue a lot. We argue a fair amount. I think most couples do. I think uh, my therapist once said uh, couples that don't argue are the ones in the worst trouble. So, you know, probably the case. Akuna Matata ain't no passing free. It's my problem free. Philosophy. Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing free. It's my problem free. Philosophy. Would I play Pathfinder with my wife if she was interested? Or do you do with my wife? Hakuna Matata, it ain't no passing free, it's my problem free, philosophy, Hakuna Matata. ain't no passing free, all right, guys, I should probably call it a night. It's been a pleasure opening boosters with you. Don't forget, we'll stream tomorrow night. We'll probably play a game. Uh, no stream Gotta get paid on to get laid, Thursday because they're going to go see the Justice League. Sucking sex, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt tragic miscarriage. Then comes blame and despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. They leaves Boogie and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. I hope she doesn't take the tree. I like the tree. I hope she doesn't take the tree. Is this live or a YouTube video? It's a YouTube video. Samurai Lightning, this is a YouTube video. How did you know about the miscarriage? How did you know? All right, guys. You guys have a great night. Am I going to play Battlefront 2 anytime? Yeah, I played it. I played it the last two nights, and we'll play it one more time tomorrow night. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. We got to boogie bomb somebody. Let's boogie bomb somebody. Let's pick somebody playing Battlefront 2. Let's pick somebody playing Battlefront 2. Let's pick somebody playing Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. Angry Joe's playing it right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's my problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matuti. Hakuna Patutu. Ooh, fun times with friends, he says. This guy says, uh, 
Fun time with friends. Who are his friends? Stop drinking snooze and fucking. All right, here you go. Cruzalak, thanks for three months of support. Hey, welcome Boogie. to the sub club. Thank you for the follow, man. That's Mursu, that. welcome. Uh, well, thanks for oh, five nice. months of support. Thank you, I appreciate the. Sky Watermelon, the welcome to the sub club. Doom Mutt, welcome to the sub club. Cuban Cupid, Cupid, uh, welcome to the sub club. Fun with Treason again, welcome to the sub club. Apo Brian, 87, welcome to the sub club. We're glad to have you guys. Thanks again. Hey, hey, hey. We'll be back with some Star Wars tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your donations. Thanks for your follows. Thanks for your subs. Thanks for your resubs. Hope you guys have a great night. I plan to have a great night too. Oh shit! See you guys. This is the same. This is the exact.